Welcome to NAB Show 2024. The preeminent event for the entire media and broadcast industry. Right here in Las Vegas. Ashley within broadcast, joining me is James McKenna of Facilis Technology. Great to see you. You too, Ashley. Thank you. So tell me, where does Facilis Technology fit in right now in the media and broadcasting market? What's your current position? Well, we're doing a great job keeping our customers who are in uh, post-production content creation for broadcast and corporate and, and industrial video and, and really everything else you can think of where people create video and high quality video for, for broadcast or web content. Um, our customers are really looking for something that's reliable, uh, something that will keep up with the trends in technology, and something that's going to work for all the applications that they need, and something affordable as well. And, so, and someone who's really taking care of them with the, the new trends that they see coming around, especially when it comes to remote editorial. And speaking of trends, what trends are you seeing as far as your technology in the media and broadcasting world, and how have you adapted with that for the future? Sure, yeah, you know, remote editorial has been a big deal for a little while, and more and more companies are sort of adapting for that. Uh, it's not the way it used to be where you know no one can come into the office. Now it's like they want to be in the office and out of the office on different days or different times, or maybe just bring work home with them once in a while. So we, we, want, to, we want to be there for those customers who are doing that, and we're doing that by our new caching feature that we're showing here at the show. We do a client cache for people who are through our WAN link, remote access, which is sort of the way we go around a VPN and make it even faster to access the server from a remote location. We can do this through a VPN as well. We can do it through a Wi-Fi or even a low bit rate one gig connection on facility or in facility. And this is a way to cache files locally to every workstation so that they're only reading the file once. And after that, they're always reading it back from a local storage cache. So this is the this sort of the, the caching that you'd expect maybe from some cloud or object storage um, types of workflows, but we're doing it with our own storage, through our own software. Makes it really unique and nobody else is really doing this. Yeah, definitely. And so you're telling me one thing I'm sure you're highlighting here, but tell me about your latest developments, who you're targeting with your prospective use cases. Sure, so our latest developments have to do with high-speed access on the on-prem storage. Uh, we're doing a 100 gig connection to this Mac Pro behind me, and we can get up to five gigabytes per second. Uh, on this Mac Pro, and it's really, no one's doing this today. No one's doing that kind of speed over an, a single Ethernet connection to a Mac Pro or any kind of uh, a Mac or Windows workstation. On Windows workstation over in front of us here, we have a 64 gig fiber channel link. And that link is giving us 3,000 to 4,000 megabytes per second to any application that wants to play uncompressed 4K or really wants to get a job out quickly without doing proxies and needs that speed. So those are the type of things we're doing, especially with our Flashpoint server, which is up to 12 gigabytes per second aggregate bandwidth. So that type of speed and that type of flexibility is really important for our customers. Um, also, we're doing a lot with the Fast Tracker. And Fast Tracker is our asset management system. We've introduced 3.8 recently, which has a lot of new metadata automation features. And those features allow us to kick off or trigger different operations, whether it be proxy or cataloging um, or file movements or even analysis through Google AI, which is another important thing that's going on. I'm sure you heard some things about AI at this show. Um, and those are all things that we've introduced already in 3.8. In 3.8.1, we're now including subclipping, Avid native proxy generation, and the ability to attach any file, whether it be a Word document or script notes or something for rights management, onto any record that we have in the database. So it sounds like you're doing a lot of things that do make you stand out. Is that what makes you different from your competitors? Well, we're different because we're, we spend a lot of time thinking about the technology of the storage itself. The new client caching is a big example of that. You really can't do that with SMB or any just standard NAS connection, either over a VPN or otherwise. We're doing it over VPN. We're doing it through our WAN link connection, which is a very unique method of shared file system, wide area network connection. And we're doing it even on-prem for folks who want to cache everything locally on their, their laptop while they're in the facility and then take it home with them and connect up to the server, but you know, they're not really using that why that why they are in connection, they're using their local cache. It's a, it's a huge advancement in the way people are able to access their storage from either a wide area or a local area. And I think those are the types of things our customers are looking for, especially since any customer of ours currently with a server is able to deploy these. They already own it. If they have a support contract, they can upgrade the software and have it. And that's the kind of thing that people want. More value for their money even after they've already spent it. Sounds like you're already staying ahead of the trends. Uh, and doing what other people aren't. So what, what can we expect next in the future from Facilis Technology? Well, um, a lot more of the same, but better. Uh, I think we're going to figure out the, the, the hybrid remote workflows better than anybody else out there. I think we've already started to do that. Uh, I think we're going to do more in asset management, but not overbuild asset management to the point where it gets too complex and too heavy and too much of a funnel of information for people. 
who don't want to do everything around asset management. We want asset management to be a good tool for them, but not a hindrance to them and not a burden on them. Um, and that's the type of thing we're going to be doing into the future. Uh, also with our cloud and LTO backupping and archiving, the easiest way to integrate, integrate cloud and LTO to the system, people are still looking for those types of, of advancements as well, and we're delivering that to them. Absolutely, so for those that want more information, please check out the website. Always a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much, James. Thanks, Ashley.